Hello YouTubers, YYC Busy Mom here. And today we're going to, if you can guess, dehydrate some mashed potatoes. Now these are mashed potatoes that I had in the freezer. And thanks to Norm McGregor in his uh, video about dehydrating for mashed potatoes, I thought, let's give this a try. I've got nothing to lose. And what I've done here is I took my Ziploc sandwich bag baggie of uh, two cups of potatoes and defrosted them. Now these potatoes were made without uh, milk, butter, salt, pepper, anything. They were just mashed and then frozen. Now the reason why you don't add anything when you're freezing, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other videos, is that when you re, when you uh, thaw your potatoes out, it gets a lot more water in it. Potatoes are a natural starch, so they absorb the, the ice crystals as they uh, freeze and then when they melt they um, get watery. If you end up having that problem and you cannot get the rest of the fluid out use some instant mashed potatoes. In my case I didn't need to do that because my potatoes were already very starchy and uh, when I cook them for about 10 minutes on high in the microwave they come kind of dry as it is so then that's when I add my milk and my butters. And for this demonstration I actually had to add almost a cup and a half to yeah, almost a cup and a half of water because I don't want to add milk and I don't want to add any oils like butters or oils. So what I did here is you can see, um, we'll just pull this next tray over here, is I'm using my fruit roll-up tray and I just plopped on the mashed potatoes and I'm going to use this um, cake spatula thingy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the technical terms and I'm just spreading this as thin as I can but as even, evenly as I can around the tray. Turn the tray. I'm trying not to get any thick spots. Um, I only have two fruit roll-up trays so if I didn't, if I had more fruit roll-up trays I would in fact have watered this down a little bit more Yes, watering does create a longer dehydrating time, but it makes a lot easier for the spreadability. And, you know, I could have used a lot more water. We got some potato chunks in there. I didn't quite get all chunks, chunky out, but you get the picture. So I don't have, as you know, stop and play method in my camera abilities, or my, because YouTube has not yet got a... Android editor in their programming, which kind of sucks. But I probably said about every video I have because there's so much more I can show you, but and make it so much easier. So, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to do this in several video steps. And this is going to take a couple of days because this is well, real time, people. I'm not uh, the type of person that holds on to a video. If I get an idea, I'm going to get an idea and I'm going to post it right away because, well, I'm going to post it that way, I guess you could say. See, we've still got some, quite a bit of thickness here and we've still got some spots to get to, so it's a lot more difficult doing this sitting down than I expected, actually. I did the other one a lot faster standing up. Try and keep it. Oh, one more other thing I did. Because I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get this off the trays, I sprayed it with Pam. I know what you're thinking. Why the hell? Why the heck <laughs> did you do that? But, um... No! It was a matter... Hold on a second. Honey, you're crunching your carrots too close to the video. Can you please back up? Thank you. Sorry, folks. If you heard that crunching noise, I didn't discover it until I looked up and there she was. But anyways, such is life. You've got to worry about the little things in life. You're going to end up with a heart attack or aneurysm or whatever they call it. And, well, the way I look at it, if it, if it isn't going to kill you or somebody else, is it really worth getting upset over? Some days, I swear, if the kids are going to be chewing with their mouth open, it is going to kill me because I'm going to rip someone's head off because that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I wouldn't really do that, but, you know, figuratively speaking, but I just thought I'd put it out there that I'm not really going to do that. There are some people that are quite literal in this world, and, 
Wow. I might like it. You like this? Mm -hmm. It looks like a cake, huh? Mm -hmm. To blow it. And there's no candles to blow, baby. Okay, so as my little girl says, she thinks I'm doing a cake. So I just basically straightened out, flattened out my potatoes, my mashed potatoes. Can you put this in the sink for me? Thank you, baby girl. With my dehydrator, the Nesco Professional, well, when you're done. it requires you have at least three trays to operate. So I've thrown in an extra tray here. I should actually put it between. I don't think that'll make a big difference, but uh, well, let's just see what we got here. Okay, we'll put that tray down there with the second tray. Put one in the middle. Sorry if I got in the way of the camera there. Little Miss, can you plug it in for me? Can you do that? Good girl. And now we're going to put this on the fruit and vegetable setting. 135. Oh, I'm out of camera, sorry. The fruit and vegetable setting is 135. So we got another 135 mark. And this is going to take, um, I'm guessing a couple days. Um, it's not, dehydrating is not a fast sport event. You're not going to win any race, win any races for being the fastest. Slow and steady wins the race in dehydrating. So we'll put that aside. Also something I wanted to show you, sorry about that. I got this amazing um, flip top jar. Now this jar is huge. I mean, there's my arm. And it's just get a good camera shot of it. It's up, up to my wrist. So it's a good uh, size. I don't know, it doesn't say, it just says Kilner, established in 1842. Uh, made in China. Uh oh, Mom, Raven what's, Head. Mom, what's inside it? What's inside of it? That is the rubber ring, my girl. Oh. This is a clamp flip top. And this Ooh. is the rubber ring. That's with it. And this rubber ring, as you can tell, is brand new. It's never been oh. used. Never been used. So it would just go in like this. Let's see, I've never used one of these before, but I needed a big jar. So there we go. We've got a nice little seal here. Now, if I had a canner that can can this sucker, oh, I'd be in heaven and I would look for hundreds and thousands of more. I have a big family, folks. Um, these past couple of weeks we've had, uh, let's see, my three kids plus two other kids during the week mm -hmm. and three adults. Mm -hmm. So that's five kids and three adults. That's eight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, little girls count with me. And on the weekends we have a total of ten extras with us um, for the past couple months um, where... This one jar could be filled with soup and it would feed us all. Well, with some rice or potatoes added to it to make it a little more bulky, but you get the picture. Can you imagine the, the size of the pressure cooker for this? I think I would be in heaven. Yeah. Well, folks, we'll get back to you probably tomorrow or the next day, depending on how long this takes to dehydrate. And we will... We will show you, sorry folks, we will show you what the potatoes end up looking like. Here's another quick peek. <gasps> Flattened the mashed potatoes. Wow, well, look at. See you next week. Enjoy. Mom, can you take a picture of that? I just took a video. A picture. Okay, hold on. Enjoy, folks. <laughs>